cheap Wi-Fi repeater. Let's see what we get in the box. Oh, the box is already opened. Anyways, let's get to the next section. Cut! Well, okie dokie, this is the box and inside we get a manual. One second, let's get everything outside. Um, this is the repeater, and the plug and one Ethernet cable. That's everything. So, just regular uh, LAN cable. Nothing really interesting here. Uh, this is uh, the plug. How does it work? Oh. Okay, it works. And this is the manual. Okay, this is the repeater. This time I will remove the foil from it, even though the item does not belong to me. But I want it. But I want to show you each and every detail of this device. So probably we are going to have diodes here. That's the power indicator, Wi-Fi indicator, traffic indicator, and this thing. I have no idea. I will have to have a look into the manual. That's WPS authenticator, probably. Uh, Wi-Fi repeater, there's no name on this very product, is there? Wireless dash and repeater. Um, MAC address, pin... Oh, I shouldn't be showing you the pin number. Um, anyways, made in China. We have our reset button, so whenever we want to change the network, we just use the reset button. And we have our LAN connector, so... We can get the configuration done over LAN and we can probably get the internet over the LAN as well. So let's plug the device in and let's see how it works in real life. Well, it might be a bit messy here. This is my um, power add extension cord with USB, so there's loads of cables plugged in. Let's get the device started for the first time and let's see what happens. And do we have any diodes here? I will switch the lights off for a second. As you can see, the diodes are blinking. So let's get the device reset, because I did use it before. And we have to reset it for the initial setup. Yeah, the reset is complete. Let's have a look how to set it up. I am going to show you how to do the initial setup using an Android phone. I think that this is uh, a very simple device and we should get through it without any problems. So just follow the manual and uh, my instructions and we should be operational in seconds. So first of all plug your device into a socket and wait for it to appear on your Wi-Fi list. Try connecting the device, there should be no problem. Now the device will ask you for your username and password. They are typed on the device so use the default for the first login. The defaults are admin for both login and password. Now you can access the main menu of the device. You can choose whether you want your device to work as a repeater or an access point. We'll go for repeater mode at this time, just press repeater from the menu. The device will display available networks, choose the network that you use. Now you have to provide your SSID, so this is the network name and password that you use every day to access your router. Type them in and wait for the repeater to access and sync with the internet. If everything went according to the plan, you should get this message. Well, we are up and running. Time to perform some speed tests. I did notice the speed went down, but you have to remember that this is a cheap repeater and it is to extend range and it is simply another device, simply a middleman. These are my original speeds and these are speeds through the repeater. I decided to perform a range test as well, as it is super 
supposed to extend range, to find out what sort of range extension can we get, I went outside with the repeater on an extension lead and I just went for a short walk, as far as I had range. I estimated the range to be around 50 meters, without any obstacles on the way. So I would translate that to around 20 meters in the house environment. Well, that concludes the review. I am happy with the device and it is to get back to the owner that I took it from. Remember about watching some other of my videos and about subscribing, well just click my face. Bye bye!